Yahweh, 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 I will not forget you all my days, in every situation you have never been, Yahweh, Yahweh, to you my God that you are the one who owns our days you have numbered every day for every person here my God and therefore today my father we are coming to you as the Lord our God who is able to change things who is able to cause all manner of grace to abound in us I pray that God you will speak to us this afternoon and even as we prepare for another encounter in the afternoon my father Rari, continue to bless us and to prepare us in the name of jesus christ we pray amen, amen. we can have our seats hallelujah uh, we had a, a great encounter yesterday and I want to thank God for those who went with me in Dika. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's okay, eh? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we, we had a great a great encounter yesterday. Na tafadhali wale watu ambao mnakataa kujitoa kuendaga mikutano kama hii. Kuna vitu mtakuwa mnasikia zikiongewa, mnafikiriaanga ni andiki. Ama mnafikiria ni wale watu ambao walikuwa wamekuja kuatishatisha sababu ya Mungu. <laughs> Pastor George. Have you told them? Or will say share? Yes, yes. Praise the Lord. If you don't train yourself to be climbing the mountains with other people, when the other people will come down with a mountain language, you will not understand the mountain language. Because a mountain language requires a mountain understanding. There is a language when you go up. Praise the Lord. There is a language that changes. As you go up as you rise, there is a language that changes. Even there is a level of understanding that you, you always achieve. Hallelujah. Amen. There are things that you begin to see in a different perspective. There is an understanding. Let me tell you something. These are some of the things that are world sacrifice. Are we together? Kuna encounters mungu wa kileta Wakati Yesu walitembea kwa Martha na Mary Whatever Martha was doing was not bad But do you know what happened? Jesus commented and said it is Mary who has chosen the best place 
Reason because nobody can snatch that one from her. Hallelujah. Amen. There are places that you can stay, but you are competing with many people. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And some of those places are seasonal. You only stay for one year, you only stay for one month. There are blessings that come, but they come as visitors. Because there is a place that you have not positioned yourself. There is positioning. Hallelujah. Amen. There is positioning. When it comes to even life and the things of the kingdom, there is positioning. Praise the Lord. Amen. So Jesus said, where Mary is, nobody can snatch her from that place. There are places we need to locate brethren. And I want to tell you this. Some of the places that we need to locate with all our education and the digital technology, with all that we know that we know, we might not see that place. That place requires somebody who has a liberation. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody who has got a higher understanding beyond the physical. There are things that you'll never see because they are limited to our five senses. Yet they exist and they dictate our lives. That is when the deeper you go with the things of the kingdom, you'll begin to see certain things both in your own life, both in your family and in other areas that you could not see. And when you begin now to do according to that liberation, you begin to experience results that look strange even in your own family. Have you ever seen in a family that you don't expect somebody to be in a certain way? That somehow the person has come up and the person begins to look strange. Baka watu wanauliza, anakuwango wa uko? Wanasema, hai ya dio? Hai! Wani huyu alipitiwa wapi na hile ambayo ina kanga wengine uniform? Hakai wa uko. Hallelujah. These things don't come by themselves. It takes men and women of faith who are committed to make a decision to take steps, to take strange steps, to begin to experience such dimensions. I want to tell you this. There are things that you desire. And those things only come to people who have a commitment, a consistent commitment in the way they seek God. Please the Lord. A consistent commitment. So, it's not every time, yes, I'm not saying you'll be in church 24-7 unless God has called you to, to be serving there. But there are things that when Christ begins to reveal himself, you need to know the right place to sit. There is a friend that God can bring around your life. And if you don't know how people position themselves when such people come into your life, I want to tell you they will come and leave. Yet, they were meant to push you to a certain level. There is a position God can create even in your workplace. You need to know how to stay there. Hallelujah. Amen. You know people like Daniel. He knew where I am, I'm facing too much battles, resistance, and persecution. Because in the first place, this is Babylon, this is not our place. He really had to learn how to stay there and still stay in command. So there is every wisdom, even in the marketplace, and God supplies that. Praise the Lord. Amen. And that is why in the silent one day, that the kind of a job, the service that I'm going to offer in this office, the excellence that I'm going to offer my services with, nobody will even dare see me out of this position. 
I'll do it in such a way that I can only be promoted. I'll make sure they will not live without me here. Praise the Lord. Amen. You people, you need to operate a dimension of wisdom that makes people to stay and remain in blessings. Not to face it in and you come out. Hallelujah. God does not come to bless us temporarily. If God has started doing something in your life, He wants to advance it the more. So it's not just something to, to show you how things would look like if this was there in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is why, brethren, we need to observe extra care and even raise a standard higher. Because some of these things that I'm talking about, fresh and blood cannot reveal them to you. There's a language that Peter spoke when Jesus asked, who do people say I am? They gave all the reports about what people say. But there is one question that Jesus asked and said, you now, having walked with me all this time, having seen what you have seen, tell me, who do you say I am? And the kind of an answer that Apostle Peter gave, Jesus confessed and said on this one, it is not flesh and blood that has revealed it, but my Father in heaven. Brethren, we need to operate superior revelations and superior dimensions. They can only come from a superior source. There is something that is beyond what you know. In your normal knowledge, let me tell you, when we go to school, we become whatever we become. But I want to tell you this. Whatever we become, it is a limit. It's a limitation because we are becoming somebody else's mind. Do you know that? Eh? You are a software engineer. Question. The Python that you are doing, is it your own invention or you are trying to copy what somebody did and he forgot and he's somewhere sleeping eating the money? You are struggling so much to learn somebody else's mind. And when you get it, you are given as a ticket. Now you have reached. Stay there now. Start serving people. Are you still up? There is always another person. So the wisdom of men has a limitation. There is a place it gets and it can't go beyond there. But brothers and sisters, there is something that God can drop into your heart. And that thing begins to get interpretation from your brain. And that thing is executed in the land of the living. And when men see it, they will say, flesh and blood has not brought you this. This must have come from our Father in heaven. Now, that is the dimension that the church has been called to operate from. Hallelujah. Amen. Brethren, there are things that flesh and blood cannot bring to us. Amen. And there are limitations that this life comes with that flesh and blood will not help us to overcome. There is a place we must get into so that we can download that superior dimension of God. And that is how we will find ourselves operating in a higher dimension in this world. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You will not just be a driver. There are moments when I'm driving. God just speaks to me and tells me, avoid this route. Use this one. I was telling Minister Masi when we were going to Dika that God warned me yesterday. Was it? it was yesterday. I should not carry people who might divert or cause us to divert from the highway. <laughs> Did I tell you that? And one of my very good friends that I cannot deny a lift, he can tell you, we were there with her. He came. He found me with Minister Masi in her place of work. And he was really insisting, Pastor, you must carry me. Now, when he told me, I was here at Embony, talking with the administration. He came even for me up to here. And he told me, let me go and send this pastor to Embu, uh, with the pastor services there. Then I come, because you must carry me. And God told me, don't carry anybody that is going to cause you to divert from the main highway. For reasons, I don't know. 
So I ask myself now, how will I tell him not to come? Because the car is empty. And now this is my friend. So what I did, I went now to see Minister Masi and we were talking and she was closing the shop. So the guy came and when you, he came ready now for us to go. <laughs> and now I was saying, oh my God, how will I tell him? Because I know this is one of the very good friends that I will not afford to mess. And I don't know whether you will understand me at this time. I asked God, how will I make it to tell him, please, I will not carry you? Now, as he was looking at the document that he sent, he realized there is a mistake. He gave the wrong number for the recipient. And that document cannot go like that. Because if it guess where it is going and the phone is called, somebody maybe from uh, Masapet will pick yet and somebody should be picking it from M. He told me, oh no, I can't even go with you. That's a little funny idea. You document because sensitive. Praise the Lord. When we started moving, we realized that every entry it was jumped such that come to the court we have to say to Ngiri apa to get to ka to ka nini to Including Minister Newton, she can tell you. I called Minister Newton. He was waiting for me at Clewax. Nikamambia, please listen to this. Take Matatu, go because I'm not going to divert from any from the highway. Please take Matatu. Proceed to Kutane Dika. I thank God he never asked me a question, but I, I didn't know how to explain, but I knew this is my son. You will understand anyway. And that is how we landed. So the only place that we were able to pick and there was no traffic is when we were picking Pastor George. But that one, I was feeling peace with it. And for the first time entering that car road, I didn't even find any traffic jam. Praise the Lord. I am saying this, brethren. There is a superior dimension that has been meant for the church. Please, the things that I'm talking about don't operate because I am a pastor. These are things that are meant for any believer. The Bible says that my sheep hear my voice. Are you a sheep of Christ? Yes. And they follow it. We have been called to be different people. Now, look at how the church was born. God himself launching himself in form of a son on earth. Tell me, would God go to that extra mile just to come and leave us as normal people? No. Tell me. When you have to do this, <laughs> preparation, you have to do this. 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 You have to do Hallelujah. And then Christ now revealing himself, revealing God on earth, and he is crucified. And that is why you see even the prophets who are prophesying and saying, we see him being, you know, uh, smitten. And by those stripes, healing is coming. Praise the Lord. There is healing coming. They prophesied about him as a messiah. The one who will save the whole world. I love to have the two the bear come a kawaida too. I told you there is a pastor who was arrested because of a certain accusation that has not yet been proved right. And one of the relatives is with us today. So as I speak this, I speak this with a witness in the house. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And let that person give me permission to give this testimony again. So when he was arrested and the handcuffs were, were put, he stayed in, in, in the cells for some time. So now there is this time when the police came because they wanted to remove the, are they called the handcuffs or they are called what? Yes. You want to be a mini village. Praise the Lord. So, police moja aga kuja si idea kwa na sira kamgonga pa coffee. Akamambia ni mimi umegonga hivyo. Hizi zita toka hapa wakati ni tasema. Na nasikia kaka kati cha hizo vitu inakuwa one of the most expensive processes. Na ni kama wewe mwenye ulifunga ni wewe utakuja kulipa. Na kwa zaidi police moja ni niambia the most uh, rare tools 
in the police station ni hizo pingu azipatikanangi haraka zina kuanga very very limited at ukitupa hiyo it can cost you the entire job zina kuanga chacha sana akakuja na ile kufungua yake unasikia sasa nilikuwa nataka kusema safi na, na ile safi yake afungue akajaribu kufungua ikakataa akasema i said the day i will see it toke hapo ndio itatoka sasa ikafika mahali ikasemekana the only option is yende zikakati zikakatisho as they were going akasema sasa fungua ile thing na hiyo ni mambo imefanyika in less than 3 months ago kuweka ile 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 tu fungua zikafungu zikatoka was that a coincidence no May the Lord help you to enter into dimensions Amen. where you command things that even follow the electronic system that the electronic will also wonder what is happening. Amen. This is the heritage of the church of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are called to move in higher dimensions because brethren, there are things that we must conquer. And it begins with you believing that you are a candidate to experience those dimensions Amen. you need to really update yourself when we are teaching something to do with security in the digital skills tunasemanga one of the ways that hackers get access to your data is when you operate outdated websites that have been not been updated with the latest applications and that is why after some time you see even the apps on your phone in a kwambia new word updates sometimes there is something that you would want to do but then because that one is outdated it the first prompts you to update your app so that it can give you that service question how have you updated yourself how have you updated yourself or you are still the same same person that has not updated the system so brethren i am saying that we must enter into these superior dimensions so that we can get to the level and to that realm that god has called the church to operate from Amen. praise the lord Amen. and god can use you even in very normal things that's why i'm telling you why should god tell me now as you proceed to the car don't divert until that place of peace that is where you you divert and i thank god because from the beginning to the end of that trip it was full of encounters throughout you know there was another church up there which had two powerful pa systems i tell you at one point i was feeling like we will not be able to make it we were on, on the, the lower floor i don't know how god have refined us i don't know but i was just hearing that people are coming out to come and see what is happening in that hall <laughs> praise the lord yeah. yet they were the loudest in the area but i don't know time came when i could not feel like there is even noise coming from anywhere else we did nobody remembered in that meeting that you are supposed to have any peer system brethren let's get to that point whereby what we call connecting with god or communion with god is not because of the influence of pa system let us just be very organic very natural hallelujah Amen. that we are able to connect with god contact his presence and as we come out we will surely say that we have encountered god and I always say this any encounter that you claim to have with God that ends after leaving the place where you said you encountered that was an emotion true encounters walk with you and they continue consistently to perform what you experienced there hallelujah Amen. it's like being trained in the camp how to fight but now when you go to the battlefield you cannot remember any style of war it means you are not trained if you can't carry the skill from the training camp to the to the war zone then something did not connect with your life 
Praise the Lord. Amen. And that is why, brethren, we need to connect. You see, Nicodemus comes and meets Jesus. He had observed him for some time. And when he comes, he tells Jesus, I know you come from heaven. Because nobody can do the things that you do unless he comes from God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. That should be the identity and that is the kind of a testimony that the world should start giving about you. That my sister, you, you are different. You must be coming from God because the way I have watched you, my brother, the way I have observed you, you carry God. You carry God. You carry a superior power. The way you begin to to advise on ideas even at workplace this is not just because you went to college but something else is behind you hallelujah Amen. if you are a believer and you know very well that there was once upon a time you officially said a prayer Lord Jesus from this day I commit myself to you I repent all my sins I am born again Amen and you are still following Jesus you are entitled to these superior dimensions that God is giving the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, the way the church, the foundation that you were built in before, it is like we seek God so that we can cast out demons. And that is what all sometimes people know. That's, that's what makes us to come to church. Growth is intentional growth is not an imagination it is very intentional hallelujah so brethren you are the church you are the person that God is looking forward to use to bring his glory and to reveal him to the heart and world there is too much work that is to be done. You need to, to get to a level whereby you have conquered yourself. Now you are conquering for others. But if the church is still in the dimension of you are trying to conquer only for yourself. When will your brothers and sisters who are in too much darkness see the light? You are still struggling to see it. What about your cousin? Now what, what about the neighbor in the village? Meaning... You might end your life without some people even experiencing that God. Because Revival 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 Na una, una, una tangaza vita fulani Zindi ya jambo fulani Ambalo inafanyanga Usikanyange kiwango na atuwe ingine Ya kiroho na kujua na na mungu Kwa hivyo siyo kitu tunangoja kama gari Tuko wapa stage tunangoja revival No Wewe ndiyo wanza kupadirika na kupadirisho na mungu Na ukupali ya kwamba Oh God I am ready for this change Na wakati revival inakunja sio kunena tu ruga hapana Revival ni kumaanisha mambo mengi sana kwa maisha ya watu wa Mungu inaanza kupata uwezo usio wa kawaida Hallelujah Kama ni biashara inaanza kufanya profits ambazo sisi kawaida Mahali pa kazi unapata promotion ambazo they were not expected they have landed on you Contracts that were supposed to be ended Somehow for reasons that you cannot understand Zingine zimemarizwa Lakini upado umepaki ukiwa kazi Unambiwa lakini wewe na wewe Mutakuwa absorbed permanently That is revival When we begin to operate From superior dimensions That don't follow the worldly systems As much as the world is trying to dictate them So usiangalia revival tu Unafikiria sasa ni kupigana na wachawi Sasa ni kutoa mapepo flani Dio iko pamoja na hiyo yote lakini kuna zaidi ya hiyo. Hallelujah. Hiyo ni ya kukupik mahali ambapo haujiwezi. 
Ujiweze kwa kiwango hivi kwamba hata watu watauliza alienda hapo mganga gani sababu hiyo ndio language ya dunia. Are we together? Wanaamini kama kitu kimefanyika lazima kuwe kuna mahali ulitembea. That is the Bible. Praise the Lord. Amen. Lakini hautangoja tu mambo and you are not being anything to yourself. And you are saying that I'm waiting to be revived. You must make a decision not to doubt God again and start believing. Amen. You must make a decision to seek higher dimensions that God is releasing in our days. Are we together? I hope this message is coming to the right people. Is it coming to the right people? Yes. I'm trying to challenge you so that you can rise up and begin to dominate in the name of Jesus Christ. Yesterday in Dika, we were sharing about conquering territories. And one of the things that God helped us to understand is that a territory is not given out willingly. A territory is not what? It is not given out willingly. There is no territory that can be given out willingly. Every territory, men rose up and fought for it. And we say that territories is not just a physical realm. There is also a territory in the spiritual world, realm. A certain level of your economic stability is a territory that you have not yet been and you need to go there. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we need to, to be a territory conquering generation and church. It is in the interest of the kingdom of God that God's people conquer territories. Some of the territories we must conquer is the territory that has maintained us in all unbelief. Because that is the only tool that now the devil is using to make sure that there is a place we will not enter. The weapon that the devil can use effectively to stop you from entering into a new territory. One is doubting God and doubting yourself. Causing you to feel like you are not the right one. Causing you to feel inferior. Causing you to develop personal conflict with yourself and God. And so they hold you down all the time. They will not allow attitudes that will not allow you to, to leave the ground. It is in the interest of the kingdom of darkness to keep people down throughout. They know that when you are down, even in your financial life, you will continue bowing even to very evil people because they are the guys who are only available to help you. And it is not a good experience. I always admire the life of Apostle Paul. You know what saying? If you say of a Jew, I am more than you. I was even circumcised on the eighth day. If you say of your education, I have gone, I don't know to which institutions, studied this. If you know about the role, I was a Pharisee. I know everything. So you try to look for him everywhere, the guy has conquered all those territories. So you can only accept his gospel. He's not bowing to anybody. There are territories we need to conquer. Some territories are just systems that need to be addressed in life. Brethren, the territories that launched us into this life with the systems that were involved, it doesn't mean that that is how we were supposed to finish. There is something that must change along the way. Hallelujah. Kama umeongeza miaka, ukaongeza weight, ukaongeza urefu, ukaongeza masomo, na kiroo haijawi ogezeka, wewe unatupeleka asara. Unapeleka kanisa rabona asara. One of the brothers yesterday was talking to me, akaniambia, you know, my 2022 
Uh, they are called what? Is it to a plan ahead of time? Strategic plan. Na resolutions. Na jua liku na nangwazia niambia vile atanunua plot na ajenge. Lakini nilishtuka. Na jua liniambia je? I want my spiritual life to enter into another level. That will be the first and it is top on my list. And so there are things that he needs to change in his life that are going to make that one work. Nika sema wa ni watu wangapi saa hii wanaweza adua hebu tupatie manifesto yako ya 2022. Anaanza kufikiria vile sijui ni baba ama ni ni Ruto. Yaani yeye anaona two erections. Hapo ndio maoni imefikia mwisho ndio clear ya vision ya 2022. Yaani kwa list yako hakuna mahali tunaweza ona I have been so lazy in fasting. This is a life that I would want to revive. Sijawahi sikia sauti ya Mungu. Kama kuna kitu nataka hiyo wakati ikiisha, ni kwamba na mimi vile watu wanaongea ni semange God spoke to me. Si mnasikia anga vile hiyo tunako tunakuwa tutamu. Praise the Lord. Kama jana nilienda kuombea mama fulani, kuna kipawa Mungu aliweka ndani yake. Wale mlikuwa theka mliona. Kuangalia ni fasi limekuja akafarishwa kama fasi. You know, when you see these things, they also make you to feel that nyewe, hii wakofu ni mtamu. Sasa huu mwemweka na wakofu, na resolution yako kubwa, unataka kuenda kujenga flat. Na flat ingini unataka kujenga, na flat ingini unataka kununuriwa. Kununua. Tari toleza kwenu zirifunga hiyo kitamu. Na zika sema, haita waifanyika. Hata uende Amerika, utaenda huko, lakini, pada utakaa kwa mkombora. Pandana uingie katika anga ya rohoni Upate network Ukunja ukiu umepepe wezo Upandrisha maisha yako Praise the Lord Joyce Sikutesi mimi Mina ungea neno labuana Praise the Lord So, brethren I want to say this Every territory has a strong man. There is no territory without a ruler. In the book of Mark, chapter 3 and verses 27. Mark, chapter 3, verses 27. Jesus said this. In fact, New King James, New International Fashion. No one can enter a strong man's house. Now, what kind of a house is this person talking about? A weak man's house? Where? Mrs. Pastor Simon, where are we entering? In a strong man's house. Strong man You tell me. A strong man ready to release things easily. No one can enter a strong man's house without first tying him up. Amufu? Some of the strong men that the Bible is talking about here is not only physical, but spiritual. There are some spiritual frequencies that you need to interfere with for you to conquer some territories. Some of the things that have resistant people in this Nairobi, wherever you come from, in your village, there are some demonic frequencies that can only be interfered with if you are able to enter into these superior dimensions of God. Are we together? The message that I'm preaching today, if I would have heard this message in the year 2000, today, I think I would be like a ranger. The prophet, the tishi pite. Vitu singine tuna tuna kuda kuzipata tu kuwa tume kuranisha. Uchavu mingi sana na yakiroho. So unapata pando tuna jaribu bu kundu talks this, tu kijari bu kupata this, kukuranisha. Unapata tu tuna dia na makonkushion, tu jaribu bu kutoa ile nini? Because tayari tu dikuwa tu mekuranisha. Tumekuranisha kwa mandini zingine ambazo Msingi ni kwamba Tunjenge kanisa kubwa 
come around the mark. That is the best that some of the churches offer. They stand as ruddy marks. left. opposite crap. No, no. Siji kwa niku na kuanga hivyo. Kanisa kubwa na msalaba kubwa na crap opposite. Watu wa Mungu. Explanation kama hiyo isiwe katika kizazi chetu. Amen. Wacheni tupandishe hizo matamushi. Yes. Kuna habari azifai kuongewa kama ungali uko hai. Kuna language unafaa kupandisha kwenu imeongewa sana Sisi kama unanipata yes. Haleluya Amen. That's the best that some of the churches can do Hata watu wako comfortable because wako na mahali ya identity wakikufa watazi taziko na kanisa And some people are very comfortable wazee wengine waendangi church Mama nani anakuanga huko Sasa unajua kanisa linakuja leo. Ati yako li presented. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Lakini hapo tulikuwa tunasema tutasemanga shetani ya ashidwe. <laughs> Utanikumbusha. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Kuna pa kusema shetani ashidwe na Praise the Lord. <laughs> Sina praise kila mahali. Unikumbushe. Hallelujah. <laughs> Maana ya kukusanyika katika nyumba ya Bwana ikaishi ikamalizwa nguvu kabisa. Kwa hivyo matangazo kubwa na ya maana katika madhabahu zingine ni kuhusu fedha ambazo zimetolewa. Ndio unaona watu wamejenga makanisa mazuri na ni kabisa na mimi sina hivyo sababu tuko kwa hall hapana. Mimi nasemanga hata naweza kaa chini ya muti na Jehova ataendelea kudhihirika. Haleluya. I'm not moved by by whatever is put there. You know? So watu wako na sifa ya vile unaona hiyo kanisa hapo niliweka mawe roli moja Na ukimwangalia hata uweze kama ni mtu wa kanisa Eh Mimi ninaona kuna mambo Mungu anaangalia anga akiwa mikuni Anasema tu kama watu wangesikia sauti yangu the first voice wangesikia ni kwamba stop that fundraising Amen and repent <laughs> Some of the functions that are taking place. Kutonjerewa kwetu watu wa Mungu kuna sababisha madhara haya yote. Na uzembe wetu wa kutotafuta Mungu na kutoform tabia ya kwamba tunaanza kuamini Mungu kama safari fulani. Kuna fanya tunakaa katika biwango za kawaida. Mimi niliangalia hivi nikaona nimeangalia kama yule mtu ana aliandika Ecclesiastes muhupiri. Sasa tutafute pesa. Tupate zote. Nini nini miaka ifike ya kuondoka mtu akufe alafu aziko mazishi kubwa after 3 days. Hata wanasiasa unaonanga vile wanakuwa kwa hizo mbali za wakubwa. You know I have just been touched by the son of so and so. Sasa kama mtu kanaona president hapo kafikiria after 3 days katampigia simu na kumrap shoulders vile wako hapo. Wacha hiyo mbali hiyo Daribu kufanyanga hapo state house. Tashikwa utajipata mbali. Utajipata uko Nairobi primary. Huko umeshikiwa hapa. Sababu alikuwa kwa mazishi. Is that really what God created us to come for in this world? No. Just to make a name and have money and we die. No. Brethren, may God help us to discover ourselves. Amen. And discover the purpose to which we have been called. That purpose can only be discovered when we develop that communion with God. Pastor no one. Because kuna watu hapa wanatembeanga na Mungu wa pasta. Hata maisha yao wao walirelax. Pastor watu wanafunulia nguo na Mungu. Pastor watu wanatembeanga na Mungu. Unasikia naonaanga hata watu wakifarishwa nguo. Yaani una una unapata yeye ako ako sawa. My friend that is my life. Can you develop yours? Hallelujah. Ndiyo na Joshua alifika mahali akawa selfish. Akasema sikizeni, this is for me and my family to serve the living God. Mimi mwaamue ni nani mnataka? 
Yes. This is me. Tabuta. Yenu. Ele me tabuta uko kule nitoa. Praise the Lord. Tabuta ni kule nitoa. We are not committed to our own lives. We must be disciplined to live within the commitment of seeking God. Now, if we allow that to happen, when shall we ever rise to the next level so that we can be able to conquer territories? Territories are not conquered by men who are living in their comfort zone. Do you understand? Nobody enters a strong man's house. That person who is daring to enter a strong man's house, ni mtu ambaye amejisikia. Do you know there are blessings that belong to me and there are blessings that belong to you and right now they are with somebody else. Do you know that? Do you know some of the possessions that you are having right now? Some are temporary and you are told we will decide whether to renew the contract. But do you know it should be a permanent one? You need to go for it up there. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of the businesses and things that you are doing, some of the lungs that you are having right now, they are not yours. Somebody else is sitting on it. Hallelujah. Amen. There are people who discover these secrets in the, in the Bible. And they have demonstrated that indeed God was in it. Because we have seen their lives producing results. They are evidences that indeed God was in it. And that is why a time came, I think it was it Isaiah, who said that my me and my family we are a sign and a wonder of God in Israel. Sisi tutakuwa kama ishara ya Mungu katika Israel. Wakitaka kuona Mungu hawataangalia kwa mawimbo, hawataanda kanisani, wataangalia sisi waseme oneni Mungu. Praise the Lord. Amen. May God stir your spirit right now. Amen. That you will feel uncomfortable with your current situation. That you will not rest until you get that which rightfully belongs to you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I did not finish for you the testimony of Pastor Simon Kamau. Now this week he was telling me this is what happened. Again, another machine, Ikari Pika. Najua liko ananiambia ati sikuizi wamejua anakuanga akipreach online na wakati mwingine ana sneak wakati wa kazi anaenda live <laughs> na mhusu anahubiri alafu anarudi sasa ati boss wake atalipata siku nyingine ana ana watch <laughs> alafu anamwambia hey you, you preach very nice lakini unajua ni kumwambia nini the time you are supposed to be working you are preaching because that is what he was doing hey you, you preach very nice <laughs> Kuna kitu unaambia wana boss unasikia this is not a recommendation hiyo ni vita nimerushiwa hiyo si kusawadiwa so you are saying now akapata wamepambana na machine ati akiwa nyumbani it was not his time to work god stand him to go to work na ajui kwa sababu gani na anjapigiwa simu na kama haujaambiwa uende ufanye kazi hiyo ukifanya ni ni ni, ni volunteer ni ya kiviako and in america nobody does that how do you volunteer to a superpower account so akatoka tu akajitayarisha kwa nyumba akaenda akapata kazini in a certain department ambayo yeye pia anaweza play the same roles the person who was supposed to report did not report because he got an emergency and he was unwell akaambua he una umekuja kufanya nini tena it was a night shift Imagine wakati unafaa kuwa umelala ndio uko na off ndio unasikia tu muke uende kazi. Aki kama sio Mungu anaongoza mtu namna hiyo. Kuna mtu anazafikia hivyo na mawazo yake? No. no. Lakini wale watu wanajasoma vile Mungu anazungumza, wakati mwingine wamezungumziwa vitu, wakati wakaona kitu imefanyika, wakaanza kusema I will never again doubt my instinct. <laughs> eh wewe ongea instinct. Baka saa hii sauti ya Mungu wako ni instinct. She will grow when I go new year anakuja. Haleluya. Anakuja namna hii akaenda kazi usiku ati wakati anaambiwa hata umefanya vizuri umekuja akapitia akabiwa lakini machine ya department fulani imekuoma 
I don't know what we'll do. These guys have been struggling the whole day. The whole night they have been hired. I don't know uh, mechanics from where. So, I can do anamungu. Enda tu upiti e hapo. Wakati alifika hapo, ati nyueza kichwa zilisimama ni kama kuna upepo inazifuruta hivi. Nyueza anasikia zinasimama hivi. Akitoka toka anasikia zinawacha. Akisimama karibu na hiyo machine, anasikia. Mahali alisimama akasikia shinda iko hapa. Akawambia, ebu engalie ni hapa. It did not even take five minutes. Wow. And everything was settled. <laughs> now, I looked at this and I asked myself. Yani ati wakati alifika hapo, ata wala watu wanafaa kulipia they encode divine wisdom to perform that task. You are an influencer. Amen. God wants you to use you to influence people. Amen. Ya kwamba your presence in your family itafanya baka wale ambao walikuwa wasisome wasome tu ngafura. Wamesikia rada ya kuendelea. Hallelujah. Hiyo kazi tu ngafura inaanza kuwa na profit. Yaani ngafura unapata mambo tu in a dear line. Brethren mimi siongei ya kaya za abunuasi. Naongea kusu mungu ambaye utenda haya mambo. Amen. Wana Yesu wa sifuwe sana. Amen. Those are territories that must be conquered. Some territories of unbelief that you, you have groomed. Eh, umezimbrid, umezimunikia hivi kama vile kuku inafunikia mayai. Na utangi katoke. Can you break your cup right now in the name of Jesus Christ? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is not what you are supposed to be right now. You are meant to be a conqueror of territories. Now, Jesus said that if you enter a strong man's house, that's a territory, you must tie him up first. Why do you think you have to tie a strong man first? It's because if he gets the first opportunity, he will bring you down. Haleluya. Amen. Jioni kawaambia Msaada wengine watu wanataka kwenda kuvuka huko ngambo akimbilia America na kule kwingine nje ya Kenya hata ndio pesa iko. Tafadhali kama auja konga kile kinafanya kwa usipate Kenya hata huko kitakufuata. <laughs> Do you know? I totally agree. There are territories that if you go you relocate from a territory to another. If that territory has got a positive influence of a people you begin to succeed but if you came from your territory ukiwa umebebanisha madhabao zao kwenu hata huku hautafanikiwa because always the realm of the spirit dictates the nature are we together you tie the person some of you, you need to work on unbelief. Tie that unbelief. Let it easy to see it. Amen. Tie that in the inferiority complex. Na kufanya unjichukia na unakuwa na uchungu kila wakati ya boa uishi. Ifunge. Isi kuondoe. Isi kumalizie kile mungu wanataka kufanya na wewe. Tie that fear. Praise the Lord. Isi kumuwe tena choke it completely. Inyime hewa Inyime hewa kabisa That fear should not work again Unafaa kuwa na ujasiri Kunjidirisha katika mambo Unafanya fitu ukisikia kwamba By the authority of God You are in your light place And nobody should intimidate you Or cause you to feel like You will not be there tomorrow are we together? Yes. If there is anything that has been dictating your, your life negatively, that is a strong man. It is a territory that you must conquer. Does it make you always to live below what you would want to live? Does it make you to feel like you are inferior and that is your place? You never go beyond that? Does it make you to always operate in fears that you don't understand? That you'll never really live your life. You're always in fears that you don't understand. Does it cause you to sit back? It brings into you things and memories that will never allow you to refresh 
and live up to your optimum functionality? Does it make you not really to amount into what even spiritually you'd want to be? Is it a character? Is it a habit? Is it an attitude? Is it an, an, an unbelief? Is it a network of people that always dictates you negatively? That you are not able to disconnect? Come what may out of Nashidagwa. How do people live this kind of networks? It's a strong man. In Itaji Ondoke, there are territories that you need to conquer. He said that the time you want to pray and you want to fast, that is the time you postpone and ambia mungu, mungu ni nakopa, ni talipa na siku zingine mbili, kwa hii moja ni talipa na mbili. Nani ya nakuambia communion with God ni mambo ya kukope shana na kulipana. Vitu zingine ya kitu tumefanyisha mungu, ni vile tu mungu ni wana hema nyingi. Hiyo kiti kama tungepatia mtu kama Morris, tungekua tumeisha hapa duniani. Yo busi atuwezi mufanyisha. <laughs> Ndiyo mana atunanga erections za kuchagua mungu. Wana atukuzwe sana. <laughs> Ako pale. Before time, yes. After time, yes. He is God. I told you the other day here that we say that God lives in heaven. But I also say this. The Bible says that in the beginning, Genesis 1, God created the heavens and the earth. So if he lives in heaven, before he created the heaven, where was he? Wherever my God was, that is where he is even now. <laughs> above heavens, above the earth, above the atmospheres, he is superior. He is Jehovah God. We cannot decide where he lives. But let me tell you, the Bible has told us he lives in us and we are God's temple. Somebody who could not be able to be contained by the universe. He says that the earth is my footstool. He very generously decided to make us to be his home. You are not dying soon. You are not dying soon. In the name of Jesus Christ. May God keep us to see the goodness of the Lord. The things that he has predestined us let us purpose to see that which even those who brought us up never lived to see. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, after you bind up that person, then you can plunder the strong man's house. Sasa wa una plunder territory na ukufunga pando unafanyaka kitamanduni hile hao. Kumanisha kuna systems zao Pado zinafanya kazi dani yako. Uwezi shina mtu wambaya mumetoshana na ye. Iyo itapindi mkaya chini mwere yano etena. <laughs> Mbati yane kana kama contract. You only plunder when you know. Umefunga. Diyo mana nasemanga hivi wapendo. Kuna viwango za kiroo lazima tuondoke kama tutakonga vita zingini. They are not congant in what we are operating at right now. It will not happen. Uliza sons of Skeva, hata kama walikuwa watoto wa priest. Siwa linjaribu? We cast you demons in the name of Jesus Christ who Paul preaches. You know, viwango za kiroho mapepo wazi na hisi mtu wambaya ni akona na stamina ya kiroho. Ikaska, ikaska, ikasema down road. Vrr, open pindie. Vua, authority, zero. Akazema haya wacha tukubaliane sasa. Paulo ninamjua. Yesu zaidi. Nataka muniabie kulingana na hii data. Nyinyi ni akida nani? Atujui. Wanaume kubwa kama mimi sapa wanarudi kwa mama yao wakiwa na suti ya Mungu. <laughs> Wapendwa. Sio kila kiwango utakuwa ndani yake alafu fikiri kuna kiwango utainukia ushindi. Yesu anatupatia utaratibu kuna kujielewa kama kuna stamina ya kufunga huyu strong man kwenye territory ndiyo maana rapta watu wengine hii na iropi umeangaika umezunguwa kila wakati kitu tumi ni semi permanent tu wakuna kitu yani ya kundumu you need to ask yourself kama kabisa umeweza anga ambaye ufanya watu wengine watoke hapa wakua masikini 
kuzunguka tu unajua nimefanya kazi Mombasa na Mombasa niliingia na excitement na kuna sehemu moja inasema Mombasa kuingia ni uhai kutoka zini matanga ati alafu wanasema pesa ya hapa haitoki hapa ya hapa tu inazulula zulula ina izulule hapa ukulie hapa wewe utoke rundi kwenu pesa ya hapa ibaki hapa we 2007 nilikuwa na make sometimes even 10000 in a day na net profit ya kama 90% ya hiyo pesa na nilitoka huko tu na suti yangu <laughs> nikalia rais siku take time ya kukonga mtawara wa ile anga mm. tuko pamoja nilikuwa na kazi kubwa na makompyuta mingi na nilikuwa na wafanyikazi nikiwa huko pesa nilikuwa nazo actually spending 3000 in a day to me was nothing i could not sense it i used to make money in mombasa na sijawahi kuona uraisi wa kutengeneza pesa kama vile nilizifanyia mombasa karani wewe i used to come to my cyber <laughs> i was even the first person in that building to set up that kind of a of a, of a thing kafanya kasi hata baba yangu alitafuta pass pesa sana tukaleta iranians the first ever iranian summit in kenya my father my late father we did it there everything was running well na mimi nakwambia kitu tu moja sawa sasa jioni niingiza kwa ile train train ya kitambo ile inaindanga hata ilikuwa inanuka uchavu huko nikasema siwezi tembea na hii nilikuwa najaribu kutafuta the, the cheapest way to get to Nairobi <laughs> kama ningeambiwa nitembee nitafika hiyo siku ningekubali tulirudi hapa tukiwa tu tumeweka mikono kwa nufuko matanjiri wa Mombasa ndio naonanga wa Hindi wanapoingia katika ile nchi Mombasa wanafuka pale kunaitwa Kibarani mahali ocean imetouch barabara anajikata kidole anapepeta pepeta hiyo ndamu kwa nini kwa bahari anasema na miungu ya huko anafanya biashara zake anafanikiwa kwa sababu yeye anatumia system hizo zile mambo ninaongea hapa wengine mnaweza kosa kuona kama ni kweli mtasema hii ni fanatism lakini ngoja kupatana na mambo ndio utajua Yesu alikuwa correct akisema kuna kuwaka na strong men and they rule you must conquer them have you conquered the strong man of this Nairobi hmm? nakumbuka kuna wakati tulihama kanyumba kamoja na mke wangu kila kitu tulikuwa nacho kilitoshea kwa kwa ile mbanjaji inaitwa nini tuktuk tulihama na tuktuk na blessings nimekashika hivi hapa maisha ikipadilishwa <laughs> sababu tunataka kutoka Nairobi shetani akaanza kumaliza mapema mwache za hapa hapa imagine kuhama na probox na na na, na, na tuktuk utafanikiwa wewe katika jina la Yesu but there is somebody you must conquer hii maisha ya kukaa regerege hivi tu umeregea regea nakwambia kuna mahali tatupeleka mbali lazima tuingie kwa kiwango fulani maana kuna watoto wanatuangalia nyuma there's a life that they need to live umeenda umepata mjumba umeoa umeolewa There are territories you are not conquered. Unasumbuliwa. Unahamisha mtoto unamrekreka labda shule nyingine ya kiwango na kuna anga au kwa umekonga. After three times umerundisha nyuma hata ya ile ulikuwa kitambo. Because of those territorial forces that are thrusting you out of the blessings. Jesus said, even in that strong man's house, whatever he has belongs to you. But before you plunder it because he has granted power you must have the capacity to bind that person Wewe sasa umefunga yoyote Kama pande unakimbizwa na tule unasemanga tundoto tu tule tudogo tudogo Tunatoshana hivi kana kukimbiza alafu unaona ni kama miguu ya tayed leo yaribu tudogo 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 anaishika hivi hiyo tumapepo hiyo inajifunua kwa manyama ndoto hiyo. Kujiona ukiwa tu nyumba tu ingine tu kitambo tu zetu zetu. Hata unaona ni kama kuna mahali imepomoka pomoka ile matope. 
Maanisha pando kuna maisha unjaondokea. You can't conquer territories with that kind of a life. What do people do so that they can start entering into such levels? You must make a personal decision to become a different person. Affect even your mind. Your mind is the one that procures all the systems that function in your life. Allow your spirit to speak and address your mind. And allow your spirit to be addressed by the spirit of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Begin to seek God and downloading the anointing and power. Make many, go to many meetings like this where you are empowered spiritually. Where by the time the service is ending, you feel like a woman and a man of God. Hallelujah. You don't feel just like Kazabakayangu, Kamenda Tupure, Natai. You go home lamenting. A place where you feel that you're in the right place. Zile mambo ambazo unjakuwa ukiheshimisha Mungu nayo. If you have been stealing tithes and offering, go back to the obedience. Know that now I have conquered the devourer, the one that Malachi has talked about. Begin to deal with any disobedience. Na kama kuna dhambi pando inakutawara hata katika siri, begin to work on it. Unjanja ndani ya moyo wako. Maliza unjanja. Kuna wakristo wanjanja wakristo sungura. Najua kuna kaadidi mimi sipenda kupeana hizo hadithi. Najua sungura aliambia fisi tukule mama zetu. Tukule mama zetu. Mimi hadithi nilisikia. Na yeye sungura akaambia fisi lakini tutaanza na wako. Wakati walimaliza kukula wake Sungura akasema, "Kwaheri, mimi na mama yangu." Kisi akabaki bila mama. Nao, sikiza. Wapendwa. Ni katika kuondokea biwango za kawaida tunakuanga na uwezo wa kupigana vita za juu. Na ni katika hiyo Mungu anatupa neema ya ku access superior anointing and dimensions zenye zitafanya tulete hii mwangaza kwetu na kwa watu wengi. Kuna utawara mwingi sana ufanya kazi katika territories bali bali. But we need to address them. Hallelujah. Amen. Kama vile tunasikianga Kenya. Hii shamba watu wa Gema wakati walichukua walikuwa wanachukua mchanga. Na wanainenea wakasema hiwewe mshanga ya Kenya tumekununua na damu yetu. Tumeraani kila mtu ambaye ataleta fedha akilinganisha damu yetu na fedha. Hii mchanga ikatae huyo mtu ndio kama unauza shamba kama hujui kile utafanya na hiyo pesa mara nyingi unaona hata watu wengine wakiuza pesa wanagoroka wana, wakiuza shamba wanakuwa wanda wazimu wengine hiyo pesa unajaribu kutafuta alifanya nini hakuna si watu wamekuwa maskini wakifikiria wakiuza shamba uh, wa, wa mjio wametajirika tena anatoka anaenda kufanya vitu za kijinga jinga ati amenunua gari ameuza ploti akanunua gari kabla ikaaka gari imepata accident Ishara za kuja kufanya assessment wanasema the driver was wrong we cannot compensate. Hiyo mjiri inaishia hapo. That is why when you want to do some of those transactions brethren kuna level lazima uingie. You conquer the strong man. Hizo ni maneno ambayo ni neno na inaishi katika anga. Na kuna watu zimeshughulikia. Na wengine ambao akiuza tu shamba hivi, ingine ni kuuza kuuza sababu hao wakikuyu na waembu na wambele na wa, na wa, na, wa, na, wa, na wa walisema ya kwamba damu yetu hakuna wakati italinganishwa na pesa na pesa haleluya hizi vitu hufanya kazi wewe unafikiri kwa nini Mungu aongee katika kitabu cha Ezekiel Jeremiah ya kwamba mtanjenga manyumba na mtaishi ndani yake na hamtanjenga na mwingine hakunjaishi because kuna fanyikanga hivyo yes the moment kanyumba kameisha mazishi Have you not seen that happening? It's a curse of the Lord. Jana nilikuwa nafundisha I don't know whether you are there. You and Kim. Oh, you are also there. When I was talking about to see the parapara za kuingia. Nawaambia the way to discern the best place to buy a lad. Just the natural discernment. Kwambie ukienda mahali upate nyumba zote ziko linto moja tu ndio imeisha. Usinunue shamba hapo hata ukiambua kuna title. Hiyo shamba hiyo area wachana nayo. Huyu ana deal na property. 
and I'm sure I'm right. Ukienda mahali upate kuna kaa kuzuri lakini ni kama kulikuwa kuna njengo kile nyumba imepomolewa kama mengine tuliona zilipomolewa na upate broker na anakuzia kimbia sana usizuputu <laughs> praise the lord hapo si mazuri ukienda uone hakuna mtu amejenga permanent house na ni maproti nyingi na unakula pata unaweza njenga flat unaweza kuwa wakwaza by the way hata uko na opportunity hakuna mtu mwingine amejenga uziwe lakini tunapeana tu a certificate waja na hiyo shamba <laughs> Some things are very you just discern them. Okay. Sometimes ukizoea cooperate na hizi wisdom utafikia ni kawaida. Kwa sababu kuna watu hawajafikisha kiwango ya kuiwaza namna hiyo. Lakini the moment umeanza kuingia katika hizi dimensions za za dani za Mungu, utaanza ku realize kuna dimension hata ya wisdom imeanza kufanya kazi na maisha yako. That you are able to see something like a philosopher. You see behind it in front of it sideways like you can see the five years about it you know that there's a level of wisdom you begin to operate in you really need to make fellowships you are good friend so that you can begin to experience these higher dimensions and begin to operate from these superior dimensions of the kingdom najua unajirumia na unasema mungu wangu kwa haya mambo yote where am i it can get started today it is not all gone hallelujah you have a chance I want you to cry to God like somebody who has discovered a truth that has bypassed your life and somehow God is giving you another chance and tell God the pride of my heart the way I think like I know and I don't know the way I know it normally not the right way oh God the way I have been slow on this the way oh God I've been doubting Thomas help me oh God that I may become that which you want me to become because I need to conquer territories in my generation in my life why don't you stand up why don't you stand up right now in the presence of God God Almighty is here with us God is here to help us he is our source of help in the time of need let me guide you in a few prayer tips that we are going to pray right now and listen them somewhere and we also used them yesterday and i want you to, to speak these things in faith oh god you know why god brought this one it's because god is expecting to raise you high it's because some of you god is expecting to baptize you with his holy spirit it's because some of you you are saying goodbye to certain things that you thought they would never live your life but you must really be broken for you to experience this dimension in the name of the lord hallelujah oh god lift your hands to god wana mungu nimekuja Listen your voice makama upenda yo mana wewe ni muweza yote ulifanye kuwa kama upenda yo nyange ni finya
God without the beat but playing the keyboard only? Why don't you speak to God briefly and tell God to help your life as I will guide you into a confession here now. Just speak to him in your own language. Najua wengine wamehurumia maisha yako umeuliza oh Mungu wangu. Wapi ninaishi kwa kichaka? Wapi ni watu wapi Mungu? Ni watu wapi wakati watu walipanju? Ni watu wapi wakati watu walinuka? Wakaingia maeneo ya kukanga territories. If there is a philosophy that has been operating in your life that has been preventing you from rising, break it now. A philosophy against the rising. A system of philosophy. Deny it now. Denounce it. Oh yes. Kapara para busanda rabo shaka yanga. Riba karaba baba bazaya. Unafaa kutoka leo. Uende kuroga roga bila kofani ifunguke bila pressure. Unafaa kupokea maripoti tofauti. La katara babo shaya. We have been called to be conquerors of territories. We must conquer. We must conquer. This is the doing of the Lord. Mashanda rabarabu kuzaya. Rika tara babo shanda. Raka na 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 zanda rabo zaya. Yala barabo zete makatoli ya babo. Deny every force of darkness a chance again in your life. Deny it. Let it be suffocated by the power of God. Ara para patala. Rabara poshanda raka taba bosaya. Every strong man is bowed in the name of Jesus. Rika raba baba baba zaya. Rika tapuri bosaya. Shirakote na baba sando. We must conquer church. We were not called to be various. We were not called to be desperate. Oh no. We will get blessings that will remain. Jesus. Rapa Rabuzai. I must praise you. We are lifting our hands before God. Kura papa pashanda. Rama mama bashi kara mo sansa rapa rabuzai. Rikara pashanda rapa rabuzai. Cry to God, cry to God, cry to God. Omba ida omba 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 omba. Na wamba na umchungu. Ambi ya bungu ni mekata. Biwango za kawaida. Abazo wati kupareka wazazi wangu popote. Mimi mwana ni na inuka. Mimi mwana ni na paju. O ni mekata biwango. Abazo wati na wazo wa kulipareka mbali. Mungu wetu wako tayari. Wensa 
And as you believe that God is really in it, thank you. That music is very nice. Continue touching it. Say, Oh Lord, oh Lord. let your mighty hand tear down, tear down every stronghold of the enemies that make my life and my neighbors to give them a place in the name of Jesus Christ oh Lord let your voice now shape this territory so that all controlling powers of this area of my family that have been sent of the devil will scatter and collapse from the foundations in the name of Jesus Christ oh Lord Jesus I declare I am victorious over every territorial power in the name of Jesus Christ I address every strong man over my life my family my career in my village in Nairobi the one who resists my life I address you now in the name of Jesus Christ come down over my feet in the name of Jesus Christ oh Lord throw your spears pierce every enemy that attacks my life in the name of Jesus Christ by the sword of the spirit I scatter I cut down all the operations of the Holy Spirit that resist my life in the name of Jesus I declare to my life I am free today 
Your open your mouth and begin to talk to God with the fire, with the power, with authority. Claim it now. Claim it now. Claim it now. With the power, with the fire. Katara Bakasanda. Rama Mama Shakara Bos. Rakabatara Bosaya. Makatara Bokosanda. Rekatara Bakanaya. Engage in the spirit. Engage in the spirit. Pray to God. Superior powers. Oh, call upon his name. Makara Patoria. Shandara Marapota. Rakara Kataraposa. Yandara Makatoria Naya. In the mighty name of Jesus. Shandara Borekaria. Rakatarapa Soria. Yandara Marapota. Santa, be born, be born to the spirit. Makara Bosa, oh, the kete kara babos. We are recovering. We are recovering. We are recovering. We are recovering. Whatever was meant for us, we are recovering it. In the name of Jesus. Rama kara Bosa. In the name of Jesus. Let's lift our hands now as we claim the blessings of God. Our hands lifted to God. Say, Lord Jesus, moving forward, the will of God shall prevail in my life. The manifold wisdom of God shall be made known to all principalities and powers that I am a son of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever by territorial spirits I have covered them today and I recover it all I am blessed I am favored I am remembered whatever my hands will find to do it shall succeed it shall prosper in the name of Jesus Christ in my life that looked temporary I turn it by faith to be permanent in the name of Jesus any sickness and disease that rules in my body in my family right now in the name of Jesus let us sickness be terminated in the name of Jesus Christ from my life I receive divine health in the name of Jesus now let me make a prayer we wind up the service Father in Jesus name we are amazed by what you can do oh God you know I'm just hearing a lot of noise in the spirit a noise like an accident but this is not the accident out there but I think there is victory. Some demonic forces and territories have been covered. And, and, and right now, there are blessings and things that will begin finding way to God's people. May the devil live and live forever. God, I give you glory for today's service. Thank you for every brother and sister who attended this service today. For God, you have remembered their lives. There will be conquerors of territories and Lord, they will see the victory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever that had failed before, I declare in the name of Jesus is going to work. Be it Lord a relationship. Be it God a family. Be it a business. Be it a job. Lord, be it anything that I might not be able to mention. I declare in Jesus' name. It shall not be possible. Yes. God, as some people are getting ready to be shifted into something different, I pray that there shall be grace for that. They will not leave one place and get frustrated in the other. 
But my God, they shall be received the honor of yes. in their new area. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, yes. whatever the work, whatever the changes of the body, whatever the thing they'll be finding to do, yes. I declare there shall be success. Yes. There shall be victory. Yes. Bless us, O oh God, the more. Yes. Thank you because we have an encounter with you today. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Yes. Amen. Why don't you celebrate Jesus as somebody who has received an encounter? In the name of the Lord. The word of Lord of the Lord does not come for nothing. This word God will watch over it to perform it. Amen. You'll be a very different person. Amen. Not long from today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. May you find territories giving way for your life. Amen. May you be an influence. As we stand like this, let's give, prepare our offerings. We are giving you a tithe. We'll be given the envelope for the tithe. Chaku tumai nisina Ilada muya na yesu sinawe Kutosha dhami za mbukuzi Acha kutumaini sina Ila damu ya ke yesu Sina wema wa kutosha Dhami za mbukuzi Wake yesu na simama
Naijulikane wewe ni Mungu Naijulikane wewe waweza Naijulikane watenda mambo makuu kwa nani Naijulikane Zako migu ni mwako Ni menye nyekea ni kutafute Maitaji yangu ni nakuletea here and for any reason you needed me to pray with you for anything before I close down the service I just want to give you an opportunity to come we pray together here if you are that kind of a person who really was feeling that I need the church of God just come and we, we call upon the name of the Lord because our God is the worker of miracles signs and wonders belong to him and it is possible. It is possible with the God. It is possible. He is able to do that. Nai Julikane, where where 